and we're going to pray them together blindfolded. I don't know what God is doing, but I'm stepping out on faith in the name of Jesus. This time when you praise them, you're going to say one word. And while you're praising them with your sister or your brother, I want you to start saying glory as loud as you can and as often as you can. And when you can't take it no more, just start jumping and shouting. One, two, three, go ahead and say glory. Hey. Hey. Oh. Glory. 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 Hey, come shine to the young cohen. Go ahead and praise them, church. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Because it's already done. 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 Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be lift up the everlasting door, and the king shall come in. Who is this king? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be lift up the everlasting door. Squeeze somebody and tell them I already made it. I ain't waiting till the battle is over, but shout. Hey, no, shout church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 The frustration of the flesh is going to produce strength. You might be frustrated right now. Hallelujah. 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 You might be crying right now and frustrated, but it's going to produce strength in you. I love what he says in the 10th verse, the last part. He says, when I am weak, then that's when I'm strong. Hallelujah. When I am weak, God takes everything that I've been through and recycles it. He takes your pain and your frustration. You have it, I have it. In the back of my house in the alley, there's a blue container. And in that blue container, they tell us to put all recyclable items in that container. Because as bad, as stinky, as empty as those boxes are, they're going to use it again. I'm here to tell somebody, as bad as your situation has been, God is going to use that same stuff to bring a greater glory to you. Hey, glory to God. Hey, hallelujah. Pastor saying amen to act like I'm at home. 
How many of you love the word? Now, here's the deal. God said we ought to receive the word with gladness. If you love the word, we receive it with gladness. This is what I do at Great Harvest, on Sunday nights in particular. Amen. When, 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 when I finish preaching or teaching the word of God, amen, I don't hesitate. We do it with gladness. Amen. This is how we do on many nights. Amen. Now, you're going to have to do exactly what I tell you to do. Amen. If you have a willing heart to do it. Amen. Some of you are thinking about the raise the offering. That's not it. Amen. I want you to do this. Musician, thank y'all. Amen. I want you to write quick without without going through a long thing. Some people think you got to feel it to do it. Amen. But you ain't got to feel nothing to praise God. Because if your praise was predicated on a feeling, you'd never do it. <laughs> I don't always praise God because I feel it. I praise him because he deserves it. I praise him because he's worthy. Amen. Now, in a matter of about two and a half seconds, amen, I'm going to give the order, and I just want you to do it. Amen. Glory to God. Everybody, just do it. I want you, amen, in the next four seconds, amen, five now, everybody, to get on your feet and just start dancing. Frustrated, but you're gonna have victory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Let me do this. Amen. If you if you don't know the Lord Jesus, if you don't know the Lord Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, Amen. Look, how many of y'all know a turnaround is coming to you? Yeah. No, I'm talking about a real turnaround. And I'm not, I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about you know that God's getting ready to reverse some stuff that the enemy has been doing. How many of you know God's going to turn around your whole thinking and he's going to let you see things from his perspective? I believe it tonight. Look, thanks of God, amen. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, amen, I offer him to you right now, not as a baby in a mansion, but as a risen Savior. The Bible says in the book of Romans, amen, but if thou will confess with thy mouth, with thy mouth and confess in your heart, amen, that God raised Jesus from the dead. He said, <laughs> glory to God. Let, can I tell y'all about this preacher? Can I tell y'all, can I, can I tell you about this preacher? Amen. How long, about three, four years ago? Listen. Hey, hey, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. I'm, I'm going to give you all a reason to praise him. About three or four years ago, this, this gentleman, he suffered with a condition that affected his body so much to the point that they had, that they told him he would wear a trach for the rest of his life. Listen, tonight, the trach is gone. And he's dancing. What you gonna do?
miracle worker. I said he's a miracle worker. 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 Listen. Give me back my stuff. I want my joy. Give me back my stuff. I want my peace. I want it all. Believe me, 